What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Creighton versus Akron college basketball matchup going down Thursday, March 21st, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Creighton and Akron. It is a 314 matchup in the Midwest region. And you've got Creighton coming in on behalf of the Big East, uh, coming in as an at-large team after going 23-9 and in, uh, in the 2023-24 season. Did take a loss to Providence in their opening Big East Conference tournament matchup, but this is still a Creighton team that won four, uh, excuse me, three straight and seven of eight to close out the regular season. Meanwhile, Akron coming in representing the, uh, the MAC as the conference tournament champion. Almost didn't get here. Uh, they beat Kent State in the in the uh, the tournament title game, and we all know that little blunder from uh, from Kent State, and uh, it got it thankfully gave Akron the spot in the NCAA tournament. Uh, John Gross's boys twenty four and ten this season, and like I said, we can go back and forth about you know should Akron be here, should they not? But the reality is is that they are, and uh, they they caught a break with that with that uh, head scratcher game uh, end of that game against. Uh, uh, against uh, against Kent State, but the thing about Akron is they are fairly battle tested. They they lost by just three points to Utah State on a neutral floor. You know they lost by two points at UNLV. They also took one on the chin against Drake, another tournament team on a neutral floor, losing that game seventy nine fifty nine. But Akron's been solid. You know around the national average in offensive efficiency, thirty second nationally in two point shooting. This team doesn't shoot a ton of threes because it is the weakness of their offense. They're shooting just 32% from behind the arc. Um, but the thing about Creighton is that this Creighton team is solid defensively, top 25 nationally in defensive efficiency, top 80 in three-point defense, top 20 in two-point defense. So it does take away Akron's strength on the offensive end of the floor. But the thing is, is that this is a big number for a Creighton team that can be fairly dependent on the three-point shot. I mean, you look at their point distribution this season. Creighton, 14th nationally in terms of points accumulated by three-pointers, 39.5% of Creighton's points are coming from behind the arc. Elsewhere, in terms of two-point point dependency, Creighton 316th, only 46.3% of Creighton's points are coming inside the arc, and only 14.3% of their points are coming from the foul line. That puts them bottom 10 nationally in point dependency. So, you know, Creighton not getting to the foul line very often. They get to the free throw line at a bottom 10 rate nationally. And even though they're you know 12th in, in free throw shooting, it's because there are so few opportunities, and they do take advantage of them. But again, it just it makes it hard to, to feel good about Creighton in that regard. And so they're third nationally in two point shooting, but again, they rely on the three ball. They're seventh nationally. Creighton is in uh, in three pointers attempted per game, and that's where I think Akron can hang around in this one because Akron stifled teams left and right from three point range this season. Akron thirteenth in three-point defense in the country. And even in the games that Akron was losing on a neutral floor, they held Utah State to just uh, 30% from behind the arc, 3 of 10 from three-point range. In the 20-point loss to Drake, you know, they held Drake to 9 of 26 from three-point range, 34.6%. You know, held UNLV to um, to 9 of 20 from behind the arc, 45%. But again, that's not, uh, that's not really UNLV's strength offensively. So I think if Akron can close out and defend the perimeter and and you know force Creighton into some uncomfortable shots, they could have a shot to at least keep this game close. So I'm going to take Akron and the 13 and a half points in this one. I think it's just a case of too many points. I think if Creighton wins, they win this one by nine or ten points. So give me Akron and the 13 and a half, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.